Hello, in front of me I have Zeb Z Watch and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications on this device. So basically if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, you can do it and I'm gonna show you how. Let's start by opening the Zeb application on the phone that is paired with our watch. In the app, let's tap on the profile icon right here. Select our Zeb Z Watch from the list of devices. Now select the option called Notifications and Reminders. And here we have a couple of options. First, let's tap on Incoming Call. So basically the notifications for calls. Let's tap on it. And here we can turn on the Incoming Call Alerts by tapping the switch. Then tap Got It. And as you can see, we have this yellow warning message right here. Basically, we need to allow some permissions for this feature to work. So let's tap on this warning message. It's gonna ask us for the permission. Let's allow it. We have a different message now. Let's tap on it and allow it. And then another permission. Next, we have the call history. Allow it. And also, we need to allow the permission for the DND. So let's tap on this message. Tap on Go to Settings. It's gonna re redirect us to this page. Scroll down, tap on the Zep application, tap on the switch, allow it, and then go back to the application. And as you can see, now the incoming alerts are enabled and we don't have any warning messages. So the uh, notifications about calls should be working on our watch now. We can also customize some settings like uh, we can enable or disable the option to show the contact information. So uh, basically, if you want to have the contact information on who's calling you on your watch, you can enable it or disable it if you don't want to see it. And we have also option called uh, delay alerts. Basically, if you enable this option, you can um, delay the alert on your watch. So uh, as you can see, it will, it will vibrate now 30 seconds after first ring on your phone. And you can select the set, set delay and you can change it to something else, for example, uh, 15 seconds. You can also disable it if you want. Okay, once you're done customizing, customizing the calls, you can go back and now let's tap on App Alerts. And here we can basically enable the notifications for the applications. As you can see, we have a, more, a warning message right here. Let's tap on it, tap on OK, and it's gonna redirect us to this notification access page. Let's select this app application, tap on the switch, tap on the allow, and then go back to the application. And now we can enable or disable the app alerts. We can also enable or disable the option uh, notify me only when uh, the mobile sc screen is turned off. So basically, uh, if you enable this option and your screen is active on your phone, you won't get the notifications on your watch if you get them on your phone. You won't get any. Uh, so basically your screen needs to be turned off on your phone and then when you receive the uh, some notification on your phone it's gonna appear on your watch and you can also disable this option to for it to work constantly depends what you like and here we have the list of apps uh, that the uh, alerts are enabled for as you can see by default you won't have anything right here and you can basically manage this list to do it tap on the manage apps button right here at the bottom of the screen and now you can check or uncheck the boxes next to the apps you want to get uh, turn on or turn off the notifications for like that and once you're done simply go back and here we have the list as you can see now let's go back to the uh, notifications and reminders next we have standing reminder basically this will remind you to stand up and uh, walk around or something like that basically move a little if you sit for too long in one uh, place and you can enable it or disable it set the time for it time period when it's working basically and to do it simply tap on start time and you can set the time by swiping up and down on hour then minutes and then tap ok and time the same and also you can enable do not disturb option basically if you enable this option uh, between the 12 pm and uh, uh, 2 pm uh, this feature won't work if you enable this option, so it won't disturb you between uh, these uh, these hours. Okay. Next, we have incoming SMS. So basically, the messages uh, alerts. So let's tap on it, 
and we can enable it by tapping the switch and that's it now we have we will have the notifications about the messages and last option is goal notifications so basically this is the notifications for goals and you can enable it or disable it okay and once you've done customizing your options you should have uh, the notifications working so i'm gonna uh, open discord on my phone right here okay and i'm gonna write message to myself on the discord so give me a couple of seconds let me close the discord and try again We should receive the notification from Discord, but for some reason it's not activating. Oh, this time it worked. And as you can see, we also got the notification on our watch. So it's working. You can also check the notifications on your watch by waking up the screen and swiping upwards on the screen. And here we have the notifications. Okay, and that's how you uh, enable the phone notifications on this device. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.